Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're here for the first time and today mm, we are unboxing, I'm checking out for the first time, the Black Magic ATEM Television Studio HD8 ISO. God, such a long name to remember, but I think I got that right. All right, guys, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. This is not going to be a conventional unboxing. All right, that's out of the way. We're going to open. Ooh. So this is it. I can imagine why it's, it feels heavy. Oh, it is heavy. We have, of course, Da Vinci. We have um, 18 download, free 18 download. Um, that's the tutorial and the download. So this is the template to cut your desk. So it's already, looks like it has a fit. Okay, might wanna put that up. There you go. It shows you, shows you where to cut out. Black magic don't come with no wires. My God, can you imagine that nothing? <laughs> we just have a box and nothing to turn it on. So let's get the wires now. All right, I'm actually gonna power it with this guy. Very powerful. I don't know why it got out of stock for some reason. Okay, so here we go. And it's gonna come on immediately. Turn this on. Tip. So power, push it on. So you have a blue here. And then you know you have power. Um, so there goes. Okay. Take a look at this. Okay. Let's, take, let's go step by step. I want to see every button. So I think we got all the buttons, of course, the honorable feeder. Okay, nothing is connected, no camera is connected yet. As the setup, we have the black magic, let's push the button and it's recording over there. And we have uh, the monitor that I just connected, which is the um, 12G uh, video assist. And that's the Ursa 12K. I have a 40 millimeter on it. The FS3 with the 35. Let's connect. 
I'm gonna cut I'm gonna cut out everything and of course I'm using three cameras so mm, let's see cut these guys and this guy the two black magic and put it in here because this is for black magic this console is for black magic we're gonna have a lot more black magic cameras and then of course cheaper ones pocket 4k 6k have a blend of both for actual business live switching live uh, event okay so uh, <clears throat> I want to test it with that and see how that works so let's do that shows up there it's rather small because we have it but everything is there we show we see camera one we don't see two now two things you need to confirm SDI check your SDI and make sure your cable, if, um, of course, you're using SDI, so switch from HDMI in case we are using HDMI to SDI. That's one. The next is that 1080p or two uh, or, or 4K. All right, it will not work. It has to be only 1080p coming in. That's not good. Um, the only good thing is that you can be recording in 4K or 6K or. 12k or 8k where depending on your camera you can be recording in that format in the camera but switch giving out it has to be in 1080p so 810 mini switchers the 300 ones and the 250 something for two they can get in 4k signals and transmit 1080p i don't understand why black magic would do this it has to be for a very good reason I expect 4K whatever resolution to be able to go. Even the monitors they have it. Even the little monitors they they can get even 8K signals and transmit and as long as they give out 1080p, that's all they do. 12K monitor gives out 12K um, 4K signals, which is ultra HD. That's fine enough. Why won't this large modern instrument? That is 2023 not receive 4K. I mean, transmit a HD, we know that, but receive Ultra HD, no. I guess uh, that's why the ISO is important. We got it wrong with the ISO. The fan is pretty loud. That too. Um, I know, I know I love it. I know we just have to know the limitations so you know how to work with it. But it definitely looks amazing. Definitely looks nice. Well made. Hard. You know, the, what do they call it? Carbon poly, pollinated ion. <laughs> I mean, it would have been lovely that there's a screen that we actually see something here. But we have, we, we need another screen. For the Ursa, you just have to use the front uh, um, SDI 1080p, the one that's for 1080p. Yeah, that's the one you connect from. Because the other one is uh, uh, Ultra HD, it will not work. Um, on the newer camera, you can switch it up from full HD, uh, from Ultra HD to um, regular um, 1080p so um, so we're going through that process and see how we can benefit from post-production the ISO in another video but for now this is what it is what you have to do so we have two cameras now I'm gonna switch from one to two camera two and you see two on the screen and back to one two Okay, I've got a big screen for that. Um, we'll show you in another video. All right, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.